Less than three months away from Election Day in Memphis and voters are set to decide on a new mayor and council members. And we are profiling the candidates right here on ABC 24. Zaria Oates is asking the candidates the tough questions in our Your Voice, Your Vote candidate profile. Nine weeks until Election Day and our mayoral race is one of the largest fields of candidates Memphis has ever seen. Today we're sitting down with Paul Young. Not only is the race crowded this year, but it's also nonpartisan, meaning there won't be a primary to narrow down the candidates. But that isn't stopping Young from showing his true blue. I'm a Democrat, uh, but I, I look at all people and all issues and try, try to make the best decision that's going to be in the best interest of the constituents. Raising more than half a million dollars. We have raised over $750,000. The most important statistic from that is the fact that we have over 2,800 individuals that have donated to our campaign. With an expectation for more young people to show up in October. I think the younger voters will vote if they see someone that represents their interests. And I think to date they haven't seen that. So here's how he plans to address one of the biggest interests in Memphis. I think when it comes to our young people, we have to make sure that those that are committing the crimes are held accountable, but we also have to identify who's most likely to be in that pool of people creating crimes in the future and injecting opportunities in their lives. So when we know they've been truant from school, we know they've been getting suspended, let's find programs that are located in their zip codes, let's work with their churches, let's work with the community groups to make sure that we are getting those children enrolled in some programs that's going to change their trajectory. Young also stressed the culture of MPD as a top priority of his. The culture or subculture uh, that led to the tragic incident of Tyree Nichols, we want to make sure that that's rooted out, but we also want to make sure that there's transparency, uh, that there's a restoration of trust and faith from the public. Aside from crime and MPD, there's still blight. It's an issue residents voice time and time again with seemingly no end in sight. Our neighborhoods are not attractive. Uh, we need to make sure that they're being cleaned up, that we're addressing blight in a very aggressive way. And that's going to be one of my top priorities as mayor. As we get closer to Election Day on October 5th, we'll continue profiling mayoral candidates every Thursday. Next week, we'll hear from candidate and current sheriff Floyd Bonner. You can find a running list of candidates on our website at abc24.com politics. I'm Zaria Oates.